This past weekend, October 26 through 28, we visited my Aunt Shyla in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Sunday after church and dinner, we drove the 16-mile scenic drive to Cloudcroft. We stopped at the Mexican Canyon Trestle. It began passenger trips in 1899, delivering people from Alamogordo to Cloudcroft, seeking relief from the heat. The trestle is 323 feet long and 60 feet high. A view of Alamogordo. Monday morning, Gordon and I visited White Sands National Park and National Monument. Rain and snow dissolve gypsum and return it to the basin, where wind and sun have separate the water from the gypsum and form solenite crystals. Wind and water break down the crystals, making them smaller and smaller until they are sand. We walked the Playa Trail. and drove the scenic byway. We would have walked the interdune boardwalk, but it was closed. Halfway down, the pavement ended. The road is plowed daily. To us Michiganders, it looked like snow. Plants cling to the tops and sides of the dunes. We climbed to the top of one dune where there were spectacular views. It was also apparent why people can get lost when hiking. We also watched people sledding down the sand dune. After lunch, we met my aunt at the Heart of Desert Pistachio Farm and Store. We took their tour of their production facilities and bought some red chili and lime pistachios. Eagle Ranch is home to New Mexico's first and largest producing pistachio groves. Afterwards, we went to the Space History Museum and toured their outdoor exhibits. Until next time, Aunt Shyla.